Hey man, I'm excited about these podcasts, man. It is great. It's a Friday. It's, it's, it's a day that we can just celebrate again of, of God's goodness and of God's great mercy and God's great love. You know, and despite what you're going through, man, what your 24 has started off to be, let's just choose life. This is the year of the open door. This is the year for God to restore some things. And so just come on, believe with me. I'm believing for a whole lot of stuff that needs to happen, you know, so I'm not just preaching to you. I'm preaching to myself. And so I think for this week has been the importance of choosing life. And so Deuteronomy chapter 30 has been our text. He says, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your seed or your descendants may live. So check out this thought. Every day offers us a choice to follow him, a choice to to go his way, a choice to serve him, a choice that is so much better than what the world has to offer. And so when you're thinking about it, let's look at Isaiah 55, um, verse number six. It says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. The wicked is like wicked furniture, twisted. And the unrighteous man, his thoughts Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, or so are my ways higher than yours. Let me, I lost my spot. Hold on. He goes on to say, hold on, hold on. I got it. I may find it. He says, my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower. And it says, bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth or from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. And just like God says when he's speaking the word, guess what? We can speak that same word and get those same um, results. And so I believe what God is saying here throughout through the prophet Isaiah, that he, God's way is better. God's way is better. I mean, his way of thinking is stronger. And so we got to make sure we get our mind renewed with God's word so we can think his thoughts and, and say his word. And his peace goes way beyond all of our understanding. I mean, God has more ways to figure out your situation. So just receive his peace, receive his counsel, receive the, and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. And so are we going to live for God and build our house? That word house could be our lives. That where a house could be our ministry, that where a house could be our family, that where a house could be even our marriages. Are we going to build our house on his foundation? Are we going to dig deep and lay the right foundation? Because certain principles are at work in the universe, and no matter, no matter what power or influence or money a person can have, it's going to change that. And so these are really rock solid, I would like to say foundational truths uh, from the word of God, that they're God given to us, his people that affect whether that we are blessed or not. And so if, if we look back at our, our scripture this week, it says, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I've set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that you and your seed um, may live. Moses presents the people of God with a choice that each of them must make, and he encouraged them to choose life. And by choosing life, they are choosing a life that God can bless. It's, 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 it, the ball's in our court. We, we, got, we got to just choose God. That's all I'm saying. Just choose Jesus. Just choose Jesus. And so there are three immovable truths that I found in, in this text. One is recurring choices. Like it or not, we are the sum total we are the sum total of the choices that we've made in the past. And the choices that we're making today will determine not only who we will become, but where we're able to go tomorrow. So 
We're not victims. We got to lose this victim mentality. You're not stuck. You're not bound. You're not limited. You're not victim of circumstances. We're not driven by chance, but we are driven by the choices and the decisions that we make. Number two, accumulated results. We are the accumulated results of choices that we've made. And that's why Moses warned them, because the road that you've chosen can only take you where that road leads. I mean, if, you, if, if I'm here in, in, in Norfolk, Virginia, and to get to, to 95 or, you know, to get to 85 to go south, you got to go up this road called 58. I mean, you can go any other kind of way, but as far as I know, that's the only way to go. And so there's certain roads that we, if we really want God's blessing, we got to choose his road. We got to choose his way. Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. We, we got to choose him. And so it's so important. I want to encourage you to choose him. If you haven't done so, I want you to choose him. And, and, and I believe it was Einstein who said, to get something you've never got, you got to be willing to do something you've never done. So you got to do something different. If you're not happy with your results and how things are right now, make it today. Like today, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to come to church on Sunday. I'm going to come to prayer or I'm going to come to midweek service. What are, I mean, you got to do, I'm going to get into a small group. You got to be willing to do something different. I'm going to open up my Bible again. I got to, well, just be willing to do something different to get a different result. And the last one is, today is the day the Lord has made. Today matters more than any other day. Why? Because day after day, over and over again, your choices will define who you are and what you'll become and where you'll be tomorrow. It's a daily choice. What am I saying? Let's put him first today. Our past doesn't equal our future. Today, you can make a decision to choose life. You can choose to change the direction that you've been going on. Why? Because you got a higher calling. And how we like to say it around here, the best is yet to come. So if you're in the local area, we'd love to have you join us this Sunday. We're located at 1066 Norview Avenue. Of course, we got prayer tomorrow here at church at 10 a.m. We love you. God bless you. Have a supernatural. Have the best Friday ever. And we'll be back here on Monday morning at 6 a.m. 